what's going on guys welcome to another video so this is basically part two of our custom login video so for those who have tried uh, the steps that we have done in part one so this is actually a continuation to it and for those who haven't feel free to have a look at it first then come back to this so this is basically the icing on the cake so we want to make sure uh, the behavior of the login uh, acts um, seamlessly where when you once you're logged in you're able to see your data and of course you don't want to see the login page uh, after the login is successful right so and of course there's another addition to that there is a feature called session timing or timeout in the app so let's go okay so as we all know in part one of our custom login we have sort of discussed regarding the login validity so again this is where it will check on your username and password once it's valid then you're allowed to be logged in else it won't allow since you have the wrong username or password so once we have that in place uh, for today's uh, video, we'll talk about the session status. So session status behaves as a indicator to say that you are having a current or legit, legitimate session going. So this is the expression that I did. So if login valid, which is the first um, uh, virtual column that we did in part one, now it will check on the time so as you can see here now means the time that you are using the app is less uh, is less than the timestamp which is the time that you logged in plus with three minutes the reason why i put three minutes is just for this demonstration of course you can add 30 minutes one hour to your liking so for today's demonstration, I'll just set it to three minutes. Means to say, if it's lesser than whatever time that you are logged in, plus with three minutes, then you have an ongoing session. However, once you have exceeded the additional time, with, which is the three minutes plus with the timestamp, it will go expired. So whatever it is, if it's is legit then it's ongoing if not it's expired so that is one now how to ensure that you have a dynamic view means to say once you're logged in you're able to see the um, the data the data that we shown in part one here that's Okay, all right. So you have data here, it's showing data. But the login page has disappeared since I am already in my session. Uh, so of course, as you can see in my session, I am having a legitimate ongoing session, which is 7.23 p.m. So to do that, all you need to do is in data, in display, under show if, this is the expression that I'm using. So of course we start off with it's not blank. It means to say there is a input. So any, the reason why I use any is because I have multiple sessions that consist of my user email. So of course we wouldn't want uh, the expression to take the previous ones. So of course, as long as within the listed session of that particular user in sessions uh, login table under session status column i have a session status that's equivalent to ongoing then it will show this data view this data view can be any view in your app to your liking now vice versa for login we want to hide it once we are logged in and display once we are logged out 
So of course, in show if, it's actually the same expression, but the only difference is in data we are using is not blank, but in login we are using is blank. Means to say, this ongoing is non-existent. So of course, we're going to wait for another minute to make sure it's exactly three minutes. By then you'll see that what I'm trying to say here makes sense. All right, so now it's already almost 7.26. So now you see it's expired. The data view is no longer visible. So I need to log in again. And of course, using my credentials. And there you have it. The data is now visible again. So you may use this to add uh, a better user experience for the app. And I hope this helps. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much, guys. So again, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you. For those who have stick with me from the beginning till the end. Appreciate the support. I cannot do this without you. And thank you for those who actually joined the membership. The membership is basically a dollar a month. So this helps me to uh, do more videos, of course, as a sign of my commitment to do more series regarding app shit. And of course, I'm embarking to new other, uh, other new avenues or other softwares as well. Uh, I guess there's some requests on Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Uh, Google Apps Script and the likes of it. So again, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.